Hello, I'm Martinez, and today I'll be taking a look at a indie game known as Standpoint, which I believe is being released on Steam on the 19th of February. I think. That's what the end of the demo told me. So, that's what I'm going to go with. But, before I get into anything, uh, yeah, options menu, since people seem to... Some people are bothered by this. Uh, you know, got resolution, full screen, field of view. Field view doesn't seem to work from from what I've seen. I I played with it, clicked apply, nothing nothing happened. So that could that could be a problem with the demo. It, yeah, who knows? But regardless, it's a demo. It's not supposed to be perfect. Um, so let's jump in because the silence of the main screen is very very weird. Stage zero loss. So standpoint is. Well, I, but, okay. Hold on. I've been too late. So, this game is a game, <laughs> I'm really bad at talking, you may have realised. Yeah, so, the game seems to take what on... What are you doing here? Give me a minute. The game, um, is based around the five stages of loss. From, from what I've gathered, considering the first level is called Denial, I know there's another level called Anger, and continuing on from that... The other three stages of grief are bargaining, depression, and acceptance, so I'd presume those are those level sets, but for now, all we have access to is denial. Plus, the first level is called loss, which I didn't even notice until now, so let's let's get started. And I failed to even mention the main mechanic of the game, which is by left-clicking on a wall when the icon is white, you will sort of shift gravity, so you are walking on that surface, effectively. Is, is a very basic way of saying it. Simply put... Must be some mistake. Ah, oh, never that easy. Yeah, so some you of these... see? Straightforward. Yeah, see, some of them you know, touch on and see, look. It, it's, it's all just a misunderstanding. It's a very interesting mechanic. But it does take a little bit of Everything time to... Everything is just the wrong way around. Oh, hold on. It takes a little bit of time to get used to. Because at times you need to They're sort of hiding something. You need to use so gravity. Warped. You need to use gravity in such a way where it propels you downwards like gravity does. But you know, to gain momentum. Like right now. See? Because you need you need a bit a of gravity to smash through them. You'll shatter this. There you go. Simples. It yeah, it it takes a little it takes it took me a little bit before I discovered how I could actually have gravity pull me down. You just sort of Click on a wall that isn't on the four on the four basic planes that you can sort of see. I'm not explaining it very well, but it just play the game for like they twenty. Can push all they like. Well, all right then. Play the game for about twenty minutes. You'll get the you'll get the idea. It it does take a little bit of getting used to. I have to admit though. Oh 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 oh! What the, oh am I on the right side? Sometimes sometimes I get a little confused on whether I'm on the right side or not. Uh, we can just that to get through because there may be a smashy thing at the bottom just keep turning and turning this is it's a obvious point really. no it's not okay then Woo! yeah you <laughs> you can't you can't actually jump in this game but what you can do is you can click the top you can click the roof and it is effectively a jump rather rather nice maybe bash three. this is a checkpoint i have no idea what these symbols mean these on and on. They'll just keep hurting you. Yeah, these things these things will kill you. Bugger. Yeah, these things will these things will kill you. Yeah, you can change um how the gravity works when you're in midair, but you can't do it if you've already done it once. So if I if I jump through here, I can't click again until I've landed on the ground. One step at a time right, to break okay. through. Let's drop or don't. 
Bugger. You good. Bugger, stop dropping. Oh, did you get... Ah, uh, no. Oh, yeah, don't, but thank you. I'm just going to wait for you to be patient. Um, what next to tackle? Um, story. The story is definitely... It isn't true. Any of these secret walls? I don't think they are. The secret walls are a little bit obvious. If you first see them, anyway. Go down there, flip over, and then... Yeah, you, you, you eventually get used to the idea of actually using the gravity mechanics. It's transparent. But, if you can't force it, take the long road. Don't think I can smash that. Yeah, that little white thing down there is a secret. When you collect them, it'll... Um, oh, bugger. When you collect them, it'll play uh, it doesn't matter what they throw an extra bit you. of the story. They can hurt you. Hold you back. Oh, 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 oh okay. Trying to find the secret rule. The secret rule's obvious, but there was one, I swear there was one, where it wasn't obvious. And and it's, it's knocked me back. Oh, bugger. Oh, bugger. Could you not, please? Could you? No, come on, game. Just let me down. The checkpoint's right there. Thank you. Just drop. It's easier. The game times you anyway. I don't know where the secret is, but basically when you pick up a secret, it'll play an extra bit of dialogue that you otherwise wouldn't get. Which is um, very important for the story. It's all a labyrinth of lies. Okay, yeah, there is that... always light at the end. That you can't... Okay, I was facing the wrong direction. Yeah, you can't touch these. You cannot change any... The purple things you click, they will not allow you to work. I don't know what I'm saying. Basically, you can't change gravity by clicking on the purple balls. I found no secrets because I'm, I'm bad. Denial part two. There's... It will all fade away. There are five stages in the demo. Uh, from what I've from what I've seen. I mean, I played for it, and there was there were five there were five stages. Simple enough. And then it said, "Hey, the game is out on the 19th, which which you should look forward to. It's an interesting game. It has a very cool what mechanic." What about this? Aren't you grasping? She, you're a fairly aggressive uh, narrator. But you are an interesting narrator. Because you... Oh, wrong way. That way. There you go. You still... You still fudge. Bugger. I could just take the... You know what? Just take the wall. Take the wall. It's so much easier. There you go. Simples. Yeah. There's ge generally a faster... and a, 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 Not faster. An easier way of dealing with this. Yeah. The narrator is kind of like a guide. Yeah, the boxes you need to pick up. Yeah. But they, the boxes always stay on their plane of gravity, though. So you can't you can't alter them. So even if I was on this side of the wall and I picked it up, it would, it would just gravitate to the, the gravity thing that you'd see before you. Uh, one small problem with the boxes, though. If you're on this side of the wall, do not move it. Because you will trap yourself out and there's no way of getting out. Look. Yeah, you kind of you kind of blocked yourself, and you can't do it, and then you have to restart a little bit. I've done Get that a to couple the of times, of this quickly. which is problematic. Let's, let's say the least. The reason she says get to the bottom quickly is because there's a smashy thing. There's a secret, which I'm going to do, because I want to actually demonstrate the secrets in the game. Because the secrets are very interesting. They they reveal a lot more of the story than, just, than, than the narrator does on her own. Bloody hell, that is not enough. Try this again. Like, I wasn't too sure on the story, like, at all from my initial play. And then there was one secret that sort of gave away a very key bit of information. Please fudge. Yeah, there was a very key bit of information that made the story sort of piece together a little more. Which which also gave me the impression that the story was a lot more mature than, I, than you'd first think. It's it's because obviously the game deals with loss. Oh bloody hell! Could you please just someone push me or don't? No, please, thank you. Yeah, the game deals with loss, which is obviously a very um very serious topic. But I didn't I failed to realise this 
until I noticed that one, the names of the levels were, you know, based on stages of grief, and then I got that particular secret that was, you know, fairly, like, really sad. It revealed something that wasn't, you know, particularly nice. Ah, uh, this is driving me insane. Yeah, it wasn't a particularly nice secret, let's put it that way. It, it revealed something that was very, um, pretty, 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 um, pretty fudge. Pretty not nice, let's put it that way. Oh, for crying out loud, please, just drop, thank you. I think this might be it. I said I would always be with you. Not this one. Yeah, so that's that's the gist of the secret. You pick them up, you get a little bit of extra dialogue. I recommend picking them up because you get an a, you get a, a piece of story that you otherwise wouldn't get, and it helps fill the story in. Actually, don't mind me. I cannot explain how satisfying it is to do the weird sort of whirlwind jump thing. Would you expect to fall for this? Yeah, you have the narrator for like the entire game. She's she's um, you know. She's a little helpful. I mean, she doesn't exactly tell you how to solve the puzzles, which would be... I'd, I'd much prefer that, to be honest. But, you know. Take what you can get. Thank you. There you go. Simples. The whole thing is full of holes. And full. Um, one thing I can see about the game being a problem for some people is... I'm sure... Some people get some form of motion sickness, or... Maybe it doesn't appear oh, immaterial to oh, you. Oh, 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 okay. Bugger. Right. I need to go and grab myself... A, um... The, 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 the pulley thing. Wherever it may be. Please say I can grab it. I think I can. I can. Nope. Because it will take away the thing... See? No. See, this is the problem. It get you kind of, kind of breaks, <laughs> kind of breaks the game. Right, so now I have to go and reset the thing. Thankfully, I'm in a position where I can reset it. Other times, you just can't, which is really, really problematic. And it just stops the level, so you have to restart it, which is a shame. I, I would, I prefer it if there was a restart checkpoint kind of option, but you know. The checkpoint system only seems to save your character instead of, like, the level itself at a certain point. So, you know. You know, what can you do? But regardless, um... I don't... I think I can come back for this. I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to, anyway. Let's just smash through there. I think you give me a thing that I can... I can, yeah. Okay. Because the secrets are very interesting. And they tell a part of the story that you otherwise wouldn't get. So, it's recommended that you try and get them that yeah um i would definitely recommend the game because yeah, hold on no 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 thank you i definitely recommend the game because the story is give me a minute promise me the same when i break free i'm pretty sure the last time i picked up that secret it did some weird lag thing as well so that weird issue with that secret for some reason yeah uh the game has a very interesting story as in, it doesn't, necessar necessar doesn't necessarily tell itself to you. You sort of have to think, all right, so this, so this means this, and this means that, and you sort of, you sort of piece it together yourself in a way. At least that's how it seems, at least. Pop you there, grab you for some reason. You're probably needed, I'm sure. Okay, you fall the other way, so that's not useful for me. I think that's timed, so let's hurry this up, I suppose. That sucks. <laughs> right, let's carry on, come on. Okay, going down is probably... I think I'm going the wrong way. I am definitely going the wrong way. Yeah, sometimes you get a little bit turned around on where you're going. Because, you know, it's a, it's a little bit... The walls are a little bit samey, let's... Just say that. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Let's hit on them that on the way down and make my life Don't so let them box much you. easier. Thank you for the box. Weirdly enough. Hey. You know, sometimes the, the narrator lady is very, um... She can be very inspirational. And at other times, she can be... She can be a little bit sad. Not in a, not in a sad as in a pathetic kind of way. As in sad as in an R kind of way. Okay, I'm glad that, that worked out. I always get a little confused on what gravitational thing they are using. Okay, you you pick up boxes. That's good. I was hoping you wouldn't push it. So that's why we're going up there. Wait for you to come back, because I timed this absolutely horrifically. Oh, bugger. God damn it. Okay. I missed the wall, I think. I haven't got the cube down, that's why. Whoops. Right, back down we come. Yeah. Um, Standpoint does something that you don't normally see in this genre of games, which I really appreciate because I absolutely love story in a game. It's the main reason why, quite possibly, my favourite story game ever existed ever is to the moon because that game is just just ah oh, I get ah oh, god damn it yeah I absolutely love story in games especially when they're well told and this game does an interesting way of doing it and since it's story focused it makes it, it can't that be much true they think you're crazy and why would they think I'm crazy uh oh bugger Please, play? No, I think that's that. Can I squeeze? I cannot squeeze. Let's just... Right. Pop that. Hit that. Don't hit that. And then just keep going and... Bob's your uncle. Yeah. Let's just be careful. Grab that, please. Don't get pushed. There you go. Yeah, it's kind of hard to sort of pay attention and talk all at the same time. Bugger, at least the thing's on the other side of the wall. And simples. Yeah, when a game does story... It's all meant to hurt you, It not really... Help. It really pushes me as a player to want to keep playing. Okay, I'm doing this wrong. It really wants me... To, it really keeps me wanting to play. Which is problematic, considering this is a demo. And I'm now dead. Ah, oh, bugger. I've got to do this again. Yeah. Story-wise, I am really looking forward to seeing how this game pans out. Because I am really, really, really not a fan of puzzle games. I can never beat them because I, ju I just don't have the brain capacity. And generally, I don't have the drive to. There's nothing keeping me going. I can see that. There's a fake wall here. There's not a fake wall here. See, that's, that's where the game threw me off with its secret walls. 11 minutes. 7 seconds and point seven minutes. 7, 7 milliseconds. And two secrets found. Denial part 3. Yeah. Sedation. Don't let that stop you. Alrighty then. That, that makes sense because I cannot do my abilities here because I am apparently sedated. Yeah, these things are very, very weird. I've only seen them the once, but this is, again, a demo. Uh, basically, the particles, whichever direction the particles are going, is which way you can actually walk through the thing. It, it, the game's physics take a little bit of getting used to, but it's a puzzle game, Another so you know. Another trick. So obvious from the right point of view. <laughs> it's so confusing. Uh, yeah, these ones, I think, go invisible when you're on the right plane. It takes some getting used to when it comes to this game. But, you know, a little more time will take. But, yeah, in terms of puzzle games, this is definitely one I will happily make my way through. Because it's got a very interesting mechanic. Plus, the story is to die for. Plus, I have no idea where I'm going. Am I going this way? I'm so... <laughs> It has to be on their terms. You can get so confused on where you're going so easily is the problem, though. I think 
Also, the fact that some of those are, um, you know, some are invisible and then some are just sort of real. It's basically you have to recognise what's what for it to make any bloody sense. Also, pay attention to the particles. They will be your saving grace, you son of a mother. Uh, you go up, so there you go. Yeah, pay attention in the puzzles, you know. They'll solve themselves, effectively. At least... At least some of them will, anyway. Okay. What's... Okay, let's just... So, hey. Can I... I can. Right, let's pull that down a little bit. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing what the story has for me in this game. Like, really looking forward to it. Because it looks very intriguing. Hold None on a minute. Of it is real. Hold on a minute. There was a wall there. I am not having this. I am not having this. Which direction do you want me? Okay, maybe pay attention, eh, brain? This is not helping. This is not making it much better. Well, it's not an invisible one. Oh, bugger. I can't. I can't. Right, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not a puzzle game player. Like, not in the slightest. But the fact that the game has a very intriguing story really makes me want to carry on with this game. Which makes me sad this is only a demo. So, so sad. Oh, bugger. Oh, you're a closing wall. Oh, okay, I got very lucky so there. Confused. Yeah, very, 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 very confused. Yeah, as I was saying before, I can see some people probably getting some form of motion sickness or something like that from this. I'm, I'm not an individual that has ever experienced any kind of motion sickness, so yay. Where do you want me? Okay, there you go. It's Thank slowing you. you down. Think clearly. Okay, I'm not too sure what you're implying, lady. You're not an invisible wall. Wrong way. Yeah, pay attention. It's a puzzle game. No need to rush. Although it does time you, so you know, some need to rush, weirdly enough. Yeah. Uh, I think that's about it, really. Other than, you know, the... I'm doing this completely wrong. Where are the particles going? That way. Okay, so I'm doing this wrong. Right, so we do this. We don't do this. There's got to be a hole here. There it is. Bloody hell. Right, so we go up. And go through the hole, and we smash, and we keep going. Get through this. Bloody knew there'd be a smashy thing there. Of course there was. Why would you make my life simple? That'd be too easy. Yeah. Uh, game is done by a small team known as Unruly Attractions. And they're a British team. So, you know. I let you down. Win-win. Losing our baby was my fault. This was the secret I'm talking about. I didn't want to reveal it because I didn't really want to spoil the story any more than I have to. But, yeah. Like, as soon as I got that secret, the game really sort of ramped up on the sadness. On the sadness factor. Where the bloody hell am I going? Not that way, shit. You're okay. That's still wrong. That's still r Oh, God. The game really, really takes some getting used to. I'm still trying to get used to it. Yeah, after getting that secret, honestly, the game took such a turn. And it's left me really intrigued for the rest of the story. So I'm really looking forward to um, the full version of this. Because sadly, this is just a demo. Despite the fact I was lucky enough to actually get a... Wrong way. I was lucky enough to get a... A... Review key. Or a press key. For the Steam version. Stop. It isn't right. Press. I'm pretty sure that's the most official I've ever sounded for a dude who just records video games on the internet. So I'd like to thank the team for actually giving me a code, which is very nice of you. I appreciate it very much. Um, yeah. Oh, bloody hell. This is... This one you actually have to pay attention or else you may or may get stuck for a little bit, although we're just going left and left. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For a puzzle game, 
it's very it's very interesting as a cool mechanic as a very intriguing story it's very it's going to be a very sad story i can see that one coming but but sad stories are always the most intriguing i got through that perfectly it doesn't okay. make sense yeah i i rec i honestly i do i recommend the game it's it's definitely worth a go at the very least play the demo if it's not for you then uh, I'm sorry you're missing out because the story is going to be a wonderful thing and I cannot wait to see how it pans out. So I suppose I should leave it. Oh yeah, one last thing. Music. Music is lovely. Bugger, I was right the first time. Yeah, music is quite nice. I wish there was some music on the main screen though. It's very weird to just be in silence. Ah, oh, bugger, this is timed, isn't it? Ah, oh, you hate me. Down, please. Thank you. Yeah, very, very nice music. I must say, nice voice work, nice artwork, nice, just nice everything. I recommend just play the demo. You don't need me to tell you to play the damn demo, okay? Just give the game a go. Come on, it's worth it. It's definitely worth a go. Bugger. Even if you're not much of a puzzle gamer. Like, I mean, I seriously am not, just straight up am not. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> right, I just, uh, I'm done. I quit. I'm out. Yeah, I'm really not a puzzle puzzle game kind of person, but this game has seriously got me intrigued what it holds in the future. So, I think with that, I will say thank you to the devs for getting me a press... press that still sounds super weird to me. Uh, yeah, thank you for the key. And anyone watching this, give the demo a go. I'll leave all the links in the description, of course. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed Sandpoint. I really do look forward to actually trying this game out when it's fully released. But until then, though, goodbye. <laughs>